Alright, today I'm going to show you how to tie the panfish gurgler fly. One of the best topwater flies for catching panfish and largemouth bass, especially those in creeks. The hook I have in the vise right now is slightly larger than my usual and is a size 10 dry fly hook. I'm using blue dun thread and the materials you will need are marabou, foam, and some sort of sparkly dubbing. To begin your fly, start the thread base behind the eye of the hook. Bring it back to around a small bit before the bend of the hook to build up your tail. To create your tail, take a small pinch of marabou from the tip of the feather, cut it off, and tie it in. Cover all of your marabou at the tie-in point with thread. To form the foam body of this fly, take a large piece of yellow craft foam. Take a razor blade or scissors and cut a fair sized strip out of it. You can use a ruler or any other straight object to keep your strip even. Once you've cut your strip out, it should look somewhat like this. To tie in your foam, carve the tip using your scissors into a large triangle. Try and keep the triangle tie-in point as thin as possible. Begin tying in your foam around the tip of the triangle you've cut out and continue to bring it back. Bring your foam back to just in front of the tail. Take your dubbing, I'm using gold for this fly, and just tie it and twist it into your thread. Bring your dubbing forward to create a solid underbody. Add more pinches of dubbing if necessary. Continue to bring your dubbing forward, trying to keep the body as even as possible until around where I have on the hook. Actually, I'm going to move mine a little bit forward. Right around here, you should tie in your foam strip as shown. I forgot to mention, but you can take strips of flashaboo and put it in on the tail. Once you've tied yours in, you'll need a rubber leg to get four rubber legs. One will be smaller the back legs and the front legs will be a little over twice the length. To tie in your rubber legs, fold it over as shown. 
and to tie in the fold point right around where you tied in the strip of foam. Trim your legs evenly before tying in as well. Take your legs and pin them back in the position you want. Bring your thread back, forcing the legs into that position. This process may take some time. Once you have your legs in the position you would like, take the, a similar or the exact same color piece of legs and tie them in. However, when I tie this fly, I often will leave out the front legs. Once you have these tied in, try and angle them forward to the same extent which your back legs are angled backwards. However, in this demonstration, I will not be tying those. Take the dubbing that you used before and dub the exposed thread where you wrapped where you tied in your foam and wrapped in your legs. Try and cover this up to the best extent that you can. After that, peel back your foam strip and build up a small head. This will keep it angled up to give it a small popping action when you strip the fly. At this point, you can cut off to form the head, which will generally be about half to two-thirds the length of the body. Tie your knot of choice to complete the fly, and your panfish gurgler is now complete.